Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. As you can tell from the title, we're gonna go shopping together today. Get in loser, we're going shopping. We're gonna do the usual, we're gonna do Zara, H&M, maybe a couple of other shops. I feel like I probably should be doing Christmas shopping, like buying presents for other people, but like, I just don't know what to buy people. Like, do you know what I mean? And also like everything I feel like I'm gonna be buying people this year is gonna be things I'm ordering online. Like I don't really shop in store much. Does that make sense? But we'll see. We'll have a little look for other people, but this is predominantly going to be a me, myself and I trip. Seeing what clothes they've got in, seeing if they've got any more Christmas decorations. I do also kind of want to get a Christmas coffee because I've not had anything off any Christmas menus yet, but I don't know if it's just me, but I don't feel like the Christmas menus this year are that good. Like I want to try the Starbucks one, but I think I'm going to Starbucks later on this week. So I feel like I might as well wait till then. And then like Cafe Nero. Okay, Millionaire's um, shortbread hot chocolate sounds delightful, but I want a coffee. Do I want a panettone latte no i don't that's not a bit of me and then like the costa ones boring we've had that before pret i don't think they do anything oh no pret have got some but again repetitive we need something new i mean cafe nero brought the newness but they didn't bring the vibes i really wanted i just feel like the coffee shops are lacking anyway i might get a coffee whilst we're out is what i'm trying to say but we'll see let's just go shopping i'm gonna go to primark first but that's gonna be in a separate come um, that's gonna be in a separate video i'll i don't know i'll see you when we get to cambridge okay i'm gonna stop rambling let's go shopping first off because i feel like it'd be rude not to we're gonna start with zara and it's got christmas decorations i feel like it's gonna be giving christmas but i'm hoping there's gonna be some like cute knitwear for, like every day as well i quite like this i've seen this before in like a gray acid wash and i really liked it but they've come out with it in navy and i'm literally obsessed with navy at the moment it is 70 pound though so she's not cheap but oversized is kind of like her with a big jacket like a chunky navy knit underneath i think it would look so nice i don't know what it is about navy at the moment but i literally love it i can't decide if i like this or not it's like a brown leather fluffy quite big tote bag i love that we have music on today i'm gonna have to try and not get copyrighted but it's quite a big oh you can't really see it very well in the sighting it's quite a big bag like a really good size but i can't decide if i'm a fan or whether i actually despise it like i really cannot decide it's 49.99 i just think with like her jacket like this you know zara have like they have a jacket a bit like this that kind of vibe but it matches this bag a bit more and i feel like together they could look quite cute i still absolutely love this coat for a dog walk or something it's the squishiest nicest material but it doesn't have a tag in it but i'm pretty sure it was like 90 pound when i last saw it but look at how nice like, that would be so cozy and warm it literally feels like a duvet i quite like this jumper it's only 35.99 and i love the fact it's got a pocket on one side but not on the other like i really like that asymmetricness it's a really nice like not too thick not too thin not itchy or scratchy soft like gray knit with a little high neck I thought that would fit really nice as well. I'm gonna take it over to a mirror and have a look. This is what it looks like in the mirror. So it's kind of just like an oversized. This is it in a medium, like an oversized baggy sort of fit. And I just really like that asymmetric pocket. I feel like it changes up a little bit. And I really like that. This set looks so comfy and I love the colour. It's like a hoodie and joggers, but it's like this ribs material on the outside, which I really don't like. It's 25 99 for the hoodie. And then they have it in a few different colours, but I really like that brown, but they've got a grey and then like a beigey colour. The joggers are 25 99 And then the hoodie is also 25 99 And that's what it looks like. It's got pockets on the side, but I just don't like this ribbed thing. And it's really thin. Like I feel like it had potential and it looks really nice from far away, but it's not quite as nice as I was hoping it was going to be. Here she is. My favorite thing in Zara at the moment. I'm literally obsessed with this tracksuit. I have found a really good dupe on Bufu though, um, which I wear all the time. It's this beige one, but I've also seen that Zara have come out with this tracksuit in a light gray, which I'm so tempted by because I love the faded like acid wash gray of this and the beige, but this light gray does something to me. I can't see the matching joggers though. I have seen them in store before, but they don't seem to have the matching joggers here today. But this is what the bomber, like bomber jumper looks like. I'm not really a bomber jacket, bomber kind of girly but this i love and then the joggers let me just grab a pair in a different color just so you can see them the joggers are like a wide leg jogger these are too big for me so you're not really gonna be able to see them very well but you can kind of get the rough idea and like i like wearing the bomber jumper like tucked into like kind of tucked up with the joggers oh my god it's chef's kiss i literally love this set so much i think it's like 50 pound in total the joggers are only 22.99 and then the bomber is 29.99 i'm so intrigued by this i saw it online and um, it's a little bit easier to see on the model and this model isn't wearing it but it's like an arm warmer like you know, it's like a scarf that's what they call it on the model um like online let me just put it here so you can see it a bit better so it's like zipped here and then this just flows so, like it's not got sleeves or anything but these go over your arms and they've called it a scarf and it's so bizarre and i can't work out whether it's really cool and quirky or whether it's just a bit weird it just like kind of sits on your neck and then over your shoulders it's kind of bizarre but i feel like it's one of those things that styled the right way can make you look really cool 
and it's 29.99 which is kind of pricey bearing in mind it's literally just kind of like a scarf but it's so bizarre they need to kind of have it on a model really so people can see what it looks like it's only because i saw it online that i know kind of roughly how it's meant to look i've also just found it in a gray as well so if anyone wanted it but was like oh i wish they did it in gray then there you go i mean i'd love to see someone wear this and see how someone would style it because i just i don't know i feel like it's kind of cool but kind of not i also quite like this it's like a v-neck really structured really thick ribbed kind of like knitted top with a really like deep v-neck but again with like some white wide leg trousers or something i think that would look really cool and that one is 19.99 which is not bad for zara i love this so much this little gray knitted kind of like knitted jumper top thing 25.99 it's so soft and thick that is so cute and it's good for like those days when you're like going shopping you can wear a coat over it for when you're out and about but then like when you're sat down having lunch and you're inside you can take your coat off and look cute but you're still like nice and warm because this is so soft i'm gonna take it over to a mirror and have a look at it because i'm so tempted to get this look at how cute i'm literally obsessed i probably need a size small the medium's probably a bit too big because i want it to be kind of like tight and then like with jeans or with, like white wide leg trousers so sweet and it's 25.99 don't know why i said sweet i'm not sure how that's so sweet but i love this and it's so soft it's not itchy or scratchy at all she may be coming home with me because i do kind of love that i also love this it's just the shape of it the fact it's like not just clean across i think that would fit so nice and baggily is that even a word baggily have i just made that up but do you know what i mean like the way that's like curved up on the this head this is a customer announcement currently our tills are unable to take card transactions <gasps> Thank you. She won't be coming home with me. They can't take card transactions. Okay, I'm gonna scan the QR code and I can always order online. Anyway, as I was saying, do you know what I mean? Like with this, I feel like it would make it fit really nicely and then you can get matching joggers to go with it. Just like, I think the joggers are pretty basic. They're 19.99, just like your basic kind of cuffed hem jogger. They do it in a blue, a black as well, but I love this gray. Like this light mild gray, I love. And the jumper is 50.99 that is actually such a good price and also quite a good christmas present for like teenage girl 20 year old girl anyone really like i just feel like that's a nice comfy loungewear set but it's a little bit nicer than just like a basic one and it's a really good price and who's not gonna love a gray jogger set you tell me um sorry zara but what is this why have we got a ford collaboration going on ford mustang why do i want to look like i'm in the pit team in the f1 i do not why is that a thing? I'm very confused by that. Like, what a random collaboration. So, like, the jumper's $29.99 and then those are the joggers, but I'm confused. These are, like, the Skims dupe tops. They're, like, a really nice slinky material and they have a navy. I just don't know what it is about navy at the moment. I'm, like, a magpie to it. I'm literally obsessed with it. But look at how nice that would be. Like, with jeans, again, white wide leg trousers. Just navy and white together looks so nice, but it also works really well with denim. And these are only $11.99 and they're such a lovely material. I'm kind of tempted. Again, I can't buy it though, can I? Because they don't take card and I've got no cash, which is kind of annoying, but good for the bank balance. Okay, apparently we have a whole like Ford range going on. Like this is a bomber type jacket type thing. They've got like a t-shirt, like a crop top, and then they've got this top. I don't really know what this is all about, but I feel like Zara are known for having very weird collaborations. Like they've done with like, I can't think off the top of my head, but they've done so many collaborations of very random companies before and apparently Ford is the one at the moment. I can't decide if I love this or not or whether it's kind of giving vintage tracksuit. I suppose it's meant to be giving vintage tracksuit but for some reason it's also giving me like Olympic vibes and I don't know if I like it but it's like a red um, like crew neck jumper and then you can get matching red joggers and I've seen it online and I keep getting drawn to it but then something about it I don't love and I can't really work out whether I love it or hate it. This however I do love. Look at this hoodie and tracksuit set. $22.99 for the hoodie and then the joggers are wide leg and I love the drawstring on them. They're like a really nice drawstring and they're also $22.99. Oh my god this could be like that bomber tracksuit obsession all over again and they even have it in the grey mile and they also have a black but this grey mile does something to me but I also love this beige that would look so nice together but is it too similar to the bomber one like do i need that as well or do i just get it because it's so cute next up is h&m and i'm seeing some red knits which i think is quite cute for the festive period i'm not really a red girl but there's a little red knit up there which looks quite sweet oh actually i've changed my mind it's got rhinestones on it and i'm not a fan of that that had so much potential from far away but up close I'm not feeling it. This is quite a cute Christmas jump alternative because it's got like mousse on it, but it's also kind of like winter vibes, not just Christmas. So you could wear this for like a ski trip or something. It's $32.99 and it's the kind of jumper that you could still wear in like January and February even after Christmas has passed, but you could also wear it this time of year and kind of pass as a Christmas jumper, if that makes sense. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. I absolutely love this set. I saw it the other day, but I'm obsessed with it. It's like this fluffy knit 
like lounge wear set. So you've got like wide leg trousers for $27.99 and then you can get this little crop top to match. I literally love it. It's so soft and fluffy. And it's like the perfect cozy Sunday watching movies kind of outfit. This little red knit hat is quite sweet. For like a proper colour, $9.99. If you wear like an all black outfit, you could just have that on to add a little bit of like pop colour, a little festive pop, very Christmassy, very Feliz Navidad, fa la la la, giving Father Christmas vibes, but I'm here for it. Look at this for the winter, fluffy headband. It's also got like a little um, elastic bit on the back so it can extend, which is good for me because I have an absolutely giant head. Imagine that on like a little ski trip or going to Iceland. It's 11 99 and it is so soft and fluffy and I love like fluffy headbands and earmuffs in the winter like I'm obsessed with it. H&M wasn't great they didn't have loads in there but I'm now going to go to Tiger because I love seeing their Christmas decorations and I'm also going to pop into Lush because Sophia got the this like lip mask from Lush it was snow fairy so it's like the Laneige lip mask but it's snow fairy scent it's like the most perfect festive combination ever so I'm going to go and see if they have it. Oh my god they've got all the Christmas decorations up in the shopping centre this is the first time I'm seeing them and they look so cute I literally love this so much oh my god there's even a talking teddy bear how cute i don't know if they're gonna have anything different to what i've already seen but it's worth a look because i just love their christmas stuff i don't think there's anything new which i'm not surprised about seeing as like they normally bring out their christmas stuff and then that's it they don't continue bringing stuff out but i thought i'd come and have a look just in case but most of the stuff is actually selling out now and there's nothing new oh my god this is even cuter they've got like a little grotto thing obviously like meant for kids and stuff but how sweet and then they've got like a little thing saying how far away everywhere is like new york is 5563 kilometers away here she is the snow fairy lip mask i didn't even know lush did lip masks until i saw this i used to be obsessed with the lip scrubs when i was younger did anybody else used to get these like bubblegum ones and just eat them oh my god they do watermelon sugar oh my god i love that watermelon sugar lip scrub harry styles who i haven't had one of these in years but this is the lip mask i don't think they have any other flavors kind of thing they've got like a tiny cane lip balm but the lip mask i think it's only snow fairy but they even have a gingerbread lip scrub this really takes me back to my youth even though i'm literally only 22 but do you know what i mean oh oh my god this is a texture that smells insane. It's nine pound, but I might have to get it because that is so Christmassy. They also have a snow fairy shower jelly and I literally love these. This is what they look like. They're literally like a gel. Oh, this is actually the snow fairy one. It's in the shape of a fairy. And then they have a little bouncing sand one as well, but I literally love these shower gels because they last for so long and they feel so fun because they literally feel like jelly. I'm kind of tempted to get this as well as a lip mask. I just love snow fairy. Here's the classic, the OG, the normal shower gel, but also look at this. Open dog shower gel with glitter. Surely that's going to be a nightmare. Like, how are you going to get all that glitter off you in the shower? I would imagine that would just stick to you and be a nightmare. Next up, one of my absolute favourite shops to shop in, but I feel like they're probably not going to have much Christmas stuff up because I feel like it comes out early and then sells out early. Do you know what I mean? This is such a cute little gift set. $5.99 for three lip balms. I don't know why, but I just love that packaging. Lip butter balms. That just makes it sound fancier than a normal lip balm, but it's probably just like a normal lip balm, isn't it? Get cherry mint and orange. What a cute little like stocking stuff, a little filler. This is also a really good one as well. Instead of £29, it's only $19.99. And it's a Mary Bajeski one you get. Oh, here it says, why is that packaging different? You know, it's the same thing. Cleansed home, moisturise and smooth. I used to love Mary Bless when I was young. Like, this one's also such a good price. $19.99 instead of £50. And that Incubus one as well. I saw that last time. That's also a really good price. They've got some really good like gift set little stock and stuff is here in TK Maxx at the moment actually. So if you're looking to buy someone something like that for Christmas, TK Maxx is a really good place to have a look. I have just hit the TK Maxx jackpot. I couldn't show you them because there was like two members of staff like literally on the aisle that I was on, like rearranging stuff. But I saw these on Facebook the other day. They're like my um, ghost one that I have for Halloween. But I didn't know if they were going to have them because I think they came out in stores on Saturday and it's now Tuesday. So I didn't know if they still have them. But they have this like white one with green and then they also have a white one with white and they had both. I didn't think I was going to manage to find either of them, let alone both of them. I don't know which one to get because the white one is obviously more me, but it's not very noticeable. Whereas I quite like the fact that the green stands out. So I'm going to get both and then take them home and work out which one works best and then return whichever one I don't want. But I can't believe I found them because I feel like these are going to be so viral and popular and I can't believe they had them. And then I've also found these, the little like um, candles that look like cans. You get two cents in the pack. So it's like, again, a really nice gift set. They're 19 99 and they've got different ones. So I thought we could smell them. First up we have mistletoe kiss soda and holiday ginger juice. Oh my God, they smell amazing. This one smells a bit apple -y, and this one 
it smells sweet. They're actually so nice. They were so much nicer than I thought. I thought they might be a bit sickly. And then we have this one, which is Christmas cola and jingle juice again. Don't like that. It smells um like cherry medicinal kind of. Don't like that. And then this one is mistletoe kiss again and festive berry fit. So they're like not both separate. That one I hate. That smells like elderflower. Oh, it actually says on the back what each thing smells like. I like this one, but this one I don't like. And then lastly, we have Joyful Pop, which is Cherry Christmas Cola again, which I don't like, and Festive Berry Fizz. Yeah, I don't, I absolutely hate that. That is the worst combination. The first one was the best one. This one was definitely nicest. Let's see what it says on the back. Mistletoe. I'm not gonna read all that out, but that is what those ones smell like. That is actually so nice, and such a nice little gift set as well. I thought I'd show you the blankets a bit better as well. So that's the green one. And then this is the white one. Like I do like the all white, but it's just not as noticeable. But I'm gonna get both and then, like I said, test them out at home and then see. This is where I found the blankets. There's literally just one hanging up there and one there. Literally the last one's left. And I also saw this one, which I thought was really nice. It's beige with white snowflakes on, which is very, very me. Like I absolutely love that, but I prefer these ones with the shape of the Christmas tree compared to the snowflake. But this one is so nice as well. I don't know what it is about these tufted throws, but I love them. And the fact I've now managed to find a Christmas version of my Halloween one, I literally am over the moon. Oh my God, look at this jug like a water jug or something on Christmas. I don't know why I love it so much and find it so funny, but I kind of do. It's quite a big jug as well, actually. It's only 9.99. I mean, you're not gonna get much use out of it throughout the whole year, but for Christmas, you could whip this bad boy out. Oh my God, look at how cute this candle is. It looks like a carton of eggnog. I've never tried eggnog and I don't think I'd like it, but how cute is that? This one's also really pretty. It's a candy cane one, but it stinks. It is absolutely vile. And then I've also found one of these like individual ones. And this is actually the one I found smelt the nicest. It's 10.99 on their own, but this is what they look like out packaging, like a little can. And then the lid comes off like that. This one smells like apple and it's so nice. That smells a bit like coconutty, milky, but spicy, which I suppose probably is what eggnog smells like, but it's not for me. Look at these candles, look at the size of them. Giant Christmas tree, a giant white Christmas one, but this one's my favourite. It's £30, and it's got this giant, well, not giant, but it's got like a little snow, um, what are these called? A snow globe on top. How cute is that? They've even got a neon candle as well. They've got a few of them down here. It's, it's a neon Christmas wish one, and it's £29.99 instead of £48. That would be such a good present for someone especially because it's an easy shaped box to wrap. This was also really pretty. That just caught my eye. I love the label on that, that's so nice. But how good is that? A neon candle for someone and then also, I don't think it's a Christmas one, but I just have to show you it. Look at how cute. It's a little um, like dog house thing and it's a candle and it says it neutralizes pet odor. How sweet is that? I'm in the book section and I never, ever, ever used to look in the book section in TK Maxx. Like it never used to be somewhere I would browse, but then I saw a TikTok the other day where someone got the White Company book from here. And when I last came in here, if you saw my like Christmas home come shop with me, um, I managed to get my hands on that book then. There was the last one left. I've had very good luck in TK Maxx recently. Like I got the last one of that book last time, or maybe it was the only one, I don't know. And the last one slash the only ones of those two blankets. I don't know what it is, but thank you very much TK Maxx Angels. And yeah, I take it back. I thought TK Maxx was gonna have like not a lot of Christmas stuff because I thought they come out with it so early that they probably aren't releasing any new stuff yet, but I take it back because they are. I thought I'd come to the book section and they have so many nice aesthetically pleasing books, like really nice coffee table books. I already have this one at home, which I just think looks so nice, like the kitchen, it says supper along the side. This one's also really pretty, it says calm. I love this one, Scandi Rustic. I think I've seen this on H&M before and I think I got this one off H&M. So so these are the kind of books that H&M home stock and they also have like a Dior book and the classic like I knew they always sold like designer kind of like Dior you know those kind of like these ones coffee table books but I really like these kind of vibe ones and they have so many nice ones in at the moment which again are also a really good Christmas present for someone if anybody is looking for some oh my god they also have the snag kettles in here I've seen a few people on TikTok find them in TK Maxx. They're $79.99 instead of $119. And I love this one. This is like a stainless steel one. I'm obsessed with that. It's like a mirrored kind of stainless steel. I literally love that. I keep seeing these fish jugs everywhere at the moment. And I don't know if that's just because people in Cornwall like them because it's like sea themed or whether it's just like an interior like design kind of like popular thing at the moment. But I keep seeing them. I don't particularly like them. But then when I saw this color one, I think it's so nice. It's like a jug and it looks like a fish. And they're are 19.99 instead of 34.99 and i've seen them in like 
little boutique shops in Cornwall and stuff for like 30, 40 pounds. So for 19.99, that is such a good price. And they've got loads of colors. They also have a few different sizes, but I think that one's my favorite. That one probably takes second place. That is such a cute gift set for any like Winnie the Pooh fans. You get a really, really pretty mug that is stunning. And then you get like a little kind of cookie bouquet. That is so nice. Maybe for like a secret Santa, if you know that someone loves Winnie the Pooh, they've even got this, which isn't as like versatile. It's like a storybook cookie baking kit. Like I don't feel like as many people would like that, but that is so nice for like a Winnie the Pooh fan. That looks so pretty. This is so random, but these look delicious. Butter waffle pieces covered with Belgian milk chocolate. How delicious does that sound? It's £3.49 and you literally get about five in there, so it is a little bit of a rip-off, but that sounds delightful. 